Hello everybody, this is Solar Tiger with another model railway video. I made a video of a long time ago about my N-gauge model railway layout that I called Solarton as it's powered by 12 volts of power from 12 volt batteries that are charged by the sun and my solar power system. Now I built my railway on a shelf because I had limited space so it's a shelf layout and you've seen this before it's like an end to end layout and I that's where I left it last I balanced it the track and I got two locomotives and some wagons so Anyway, I've been looking for additional materials for my layout on eBay and I hadn't found anything that was going cheap. So today, being Thursday, it was car boot sale day. And I went to the car boot sale and I bought some stuff. So, as you can see, I bought these two engaged buildings with my Hornby mini tricks. I have a good shed and an engine shed. The engine shed is up here. I've just put it up here for the time being. It is actually a two track engine shed. Right. That's what I got. I put it up there just for the moment. And down here is the good shed. Has it the platform inside? Uh, the Mini Tricks Good Shed. They came in the original boxes, and I paid four pounds each for them. Uh, I'm looking for stuff cheap, and I'm going to collect items for my layout. So, also from the same seller, I bought some Engage Track came in this tub, it was these sections in here, and most of the track you see here. I had a few curves, I had three curves already, three of the larger ones, and the rest of this track came in this bundle, and all of that, and most of this, and I bought the track for £8. It's Pico set track and it is nickel silver so it won't corrode. And that's that. So with the spare track I just knocked up an oval. I finally have enough track to build an oval to run my engage trains. So this is just a simple oval with a siding which you can make as a basis for a beginner type layout and you can mount this onto a board I don't have a board big enough at the moment for this so I'll we'll probably take it apart again when I've finished running, running it and I can stick it inside this box so I keep all my stuff inside a sweet box which is what my original stuff came in and it fits in there just nicely. So I'm mainly building in a bookshelf layout up here and I wanted to buy additional track to extend over there. That was meant to be a part of my railway but I've been using it for storage and I didn't have enough track to extend the layout. At the back of there there's uh, two sidings. But again, as I am waiting to collect more items, I'm using my shelves for storage. And if I build my, if I add more to my layout, I will have to move the stuff off the shelves, as the shelves were actually intended for my railway. But I need storage as well. So 
I have two locomotives. I have this GWR locomotive. Pop it down here. GWR tank locomotive. And I have this southern locomotive. Which has less detail on it and the body is all plastic. Whereas this one has more detail and the body is metal, so it's kind of like better quality. This one is that's such a, a Graham Farish, that one. If I bring that around. I think it lost the brake burn. This is a that is a Graham Parish as well. That it has an all plastic body, which is all one colour. The thing I'll point out here that with this oval that I put up here, the corners are quite sharp and this locomotive will go around it okay, since there's equal distance between the axles, so that one will go around okay. Whereas this GWR one, there's a bigger gap between the axles here than there is here, and this locomotive won't go round, it keeps derailing. So this, I bought this locomotive and some wagons, those wagons up there came with a, a bundle that was £30, but this locomotive is out of a starter set, a train set, so it's kind of a cheaper model, it's all plastic and one colour, and that's that. Let me couple it back up to the train. Train. And you can see the train going around there. So this is a steam locomotive that I bought four of these five of those wagons up here. Let's say Christie and A, and I got another brake van up there. So those are, are my kind of steam era stock. These wagons over here are kind of more modern, and they don't fit in with the steam age. But I don't have any modern type locomotives. So this is. Just another quick video on my railway. It's a DC railway, which means it's hooked up to a DC controller. Pretty basic controller we got here. This is a Hammond and Morgan, and it's fairly old. And this is being powered from my DC solar power system. There's wires from over here to over here and the source of the power for the railway are there's three 12 volt batteries inside there being charged from my solar panels on top of my shed. So normally your railway would be powered by a 12 volt transformer plugged into the wall but I'm running my railway from 12 volt solar charged batteries through a standard DC controller. So what that simply means is that if I put more than one loco on this track they all move at the same time. Whereas with a DCC layout it works on the digital coding and you can put several locomotives on the track and 
only the locomotive that you select will move when the power is turned on. But that's more expensive and I'm on a budget. So this is Solar Tiger and thank you for watching my model railway video. This is my N-gauge stuff. I'm using N-gauge stuff here because it takes up this room. But N-gauge on the whole is more expensive. So I'm just collecting items that I can get at a reasonable price. So this is Solar Tiger saying thank you for watching. And until next time, goodbye. Thank you.